Creativity is an addiction. Some days you love it. Feels good, man. Oh, I'm creative. Oh, we're getting things done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, your creativity has kicked in. I, I was with a guy last night. He says, I'm not getting much sleep at night. I said, what, what are you doing creatively before you go to bed? I, I don't know. I'm, no. I don't, I don't need to be doing anything with my creativity. In fact, it's been very low lately. Well, then it's screaming at you, man. It needs some love. Maybe, maybe you need to find out what on the inside needs to be on the outside. It's an addiction. And it will keep you awake late at night. And it's going to drive you crazy in the daytime because it brings stress into your life. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. So did you see it? The eclipse this morning. I mean, it was like really super early this morning here in the Carolinas. It started something like 2.05 and wrapped up around 4 in the morning. I, I didn't get to see it. But what I, what I was amazed by was that it's the first one in 444 years like it. What is going on with this generation where we are getting all these first-time events? Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, the Beatles. I mean, it's, it's like uh, the pandemic, the first one in 100 years. How, how is this possible that this is the generation that's getting a ton of first-time events? I don't know if we should feel luckier. It's like, back it down. Back it down. We can only deal with so much when it comes to, this is the first time in how long? I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I did not get to see the eclipse this morning, but I did get to see the full moon though uh, about probably uh, what was it about maybe 635 637 uh, that was good enough for me to see that bright, bright, beautiful moon uh, on such a crisp morning in the Carolinas where it's something like barely 40 degrees. So, I mean, I, I, I love a full moon during the fall. It does a lot of amazing things to the imagination. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. The one thing that's constant in our everyday life is change. Not, not the change in your pocket. But the change in your heart, and man, when it sinks into your reality, all of a sudden that change becomes extra weight. Now, because I am a daily writer, and I've been doing this for 28 years, I I can always go back and read what the writer was struggling through, and how facing each and every change was something that he didn't run away from, because he knows that change actually strengthens the foundation. Now, here's something, If if you take notes, awareness is the most valuable tool that you can hold. Be aware, mindful of your moment of now. Be aware that if change is taking place, say, all right, there you are. Hi, happy change. Hi, what's going on, Mr. Change? Once you decide that you're aware of the situation, you've got to follow it with truth and trust. No matter where you look today, every business on this planet spends the majority of their time and their money trying to enforce change. Everybody wants to enforce change from grocery stores to movie companies music business everywhere you go they are trying to enforce change not only with employees oh but they want you the consumer they want you to change you do need that new iphone oh yes you do need it oh yes you do learning how to take note of its impact on this path is vital because in all things that become It's delivered to each and every one of us by way of particles. I'm going to say that again, and I want you to really, really think about that and think about the changes that you go through. Does it suddenly hit you? Is it like overnight? I don't think so. Learning how to take note of its impact on the path is vital because in all things that become, it's delivered by way of particles. There's a book I'd like you to read. It's new from Paul McCartney. It's called Lyrics. And in this book, he's a human. Human in the way of that he shares with you that it didn't just happen, that it was very difficult to do what it is that the Beatles did and what he continues to do as a singer songwriter. It doesn't just happen. It comes to you in particles. Now, sadly, such a thought brings up so many halfway there memories. You only get so far and then poof, you're hit by changes, more changes again and again. And it causes the heart to stumble by way of having very little faith in why change should work. Wouldn't it be great if change had compassion? Then again, maybe it does. Maybe I'm just blind to it. It's we who decide what is real versus what is fake. Websites and news headlines are proof of that. Just do me a favor. During these times of change, change your underwear. (laughs) 
<laughs> I got to tell you. July 21st, 2009, 6.15 p.m., Charlotte, North Carolina. When that doctor said to me that I was having a heart attack, um, I, I, I got to be honest with you, I, the first thing I thought about was my underwear. Did I change my underwear today? <laughs> it really was. That meant I wasn't going home. Oh, my God, I don't want stinky, dirty undies. <laughs> So, and, 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 you know, when they put the two stents in, where'd they go through? They went through my groin. So therefore, thank God in heaven, I had changed my underwear. <laughs> oh, God. But, but change is something that I've had to deal with personally as a creative person. And, and even if you've decided in your life that I'm not creative, I'm just going to go on with life and live it the way that I want to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be who I am. You still go through change. It's part of the evolution of you. And, and accepting that change is, is, is very difficult in so many ways because not everybody around you believes in that change. And, and that's one of the things that Julia Cameron talks about in The Artist Way is that when you go through and you start accepting yourself as a creative person, the people around you are going, well, where's, where's the old you? I, I don't want you to change. It's the same thing with people who lose weight. Uh, those that used to eat cookies with you and, and go out for tacos and all that kind of stuff, they're going, where's my food, buddy? Where, no, no, I'm, I'm changing. I'm, I'm evolving. I'm, I'm, I'm losing weight. No, I, I, I need the fat you back. No, no, it, no, I've, I've had to deal with that. I lost a lot of friends when I put myself on a challenge and I wanted to lose 50 pounds by the time I turned 50. And, and people are going, but, but what about the maple bars, buddy? Come on, it's Monday, maple bar Monday. Come on, buddy. No, 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 we're not going to go there. Change is that thing that even in radio... I'll never forget Andrew Ashwood telling me, I mean, he told me right to my soul. He pointed that big old fat finger of his right in my face and said, listen, change is what we do in this business of radio. If you can't silence your heart on accepting what change is required, get out, leave right now. I'll find somebody to do your morning show for you. Oh, well. Well, there's a change of heart. <laughs> so part of the reason that, that I write every day, probably maybe the main reason, is that key word, awareness. I make myself aware of all things that are currently changing. Last night, I was the only one on the front line between 9 and 10 p.m. The only one. I hate that feeling because a lot of people are going to come through where I am. They're going, they're going a lot, a lot. And I have to be able to handle the situation. Now, it was it stressful? Oh, hell no. Because I've been through this so many times in my life. And, and, you know, moments like this are, are cool because, you know, it, you, you build up a relationship, but, but, but still it's uncomfortable when you're the only one, when the decision makers have the power to create change. Don't ever put somebody in a position where they are the only one. It, it, it's just not fair. But what, what are we going to do about it? What are we going to change? You don't have the power of change. And this is where my sobonym in martial arts would speak. Do you have the power to change what's going on? No. Then, then move on. Move on. The one thing that is constant is change. Learning to love its place and power can be an all-out battle with reality. That's a choice. Do you turn it into a battle? Or do you accept change? I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.